redemption of preferences. Let us now understand what is redemption and what are some of the features of redemption of preferences. Now, redemption basically means repayment, payback. So, we have to repay the preference share capital which we have collected from the preference shareholders. So, redemption is nothing but freeing, releasing the preference shares or repaying the preference shareholders. When preference shares are issued, normally they are for a certain period of time and the date of maturity is determined at the time of issue itself. The redemption also may be at premium or at par. What does that mean? Suppose we a preference share face value, nominal value is rupees 100. When they are redeemed at a premium, it means that we would pay rupees 110. Here, rupees 10 would be the premium on redemption. So, the company ends up paying 10 rupees more on every share at the time of redemption if redemption of preference shares is at a premium. Therefore, this extra 10 is actually a loss to the company. A capital loss. Or of course, preference shareholders may be repaid at par where rupees 100 share is repaid rupees 100. If preference shareholders were, if preference shares were redeemed at a discount, it would mean that a rupees 100 share we would return maybe only rupees 95 where rupees 5 could be the discount on redemption. Discount on redemption would actually be a profit for the company. However, this does not happen in practice. Preference shares are normally redeemed either at a premium or at par. Please note premium on redemption of preference shares is a loss to the company because the company pays more than the face value. Unlike in case of issue, where when we issue shares at a premium, a 100 rupee share is issued but 110 rupees are collected, the rupees 10 or the securities premium is a profit. It is a capital profit. But premium on redemption, we repay 10 rupees more and therefore it is a capital loss. Similarly, a discount on issue would mean we get less money and therefore that is a loss. Discount on issue is a capital loss. If there was to be a discount on redemption, it would have been a capital profit. Though I repeat, it hardly happens in practice. What are the provisions of the Companies Act with respect to redemption? Redemption is carried on as per the provisions of the Companies Act which says that preference shares must be redeemed either out of the proceeds of a fresh issue of capital, fresh issue of preference shares or equity shares. That means if one preference share is going out, another preference share should come in or another equity share should come in. Or they say the other option is it should be out of free reserves by capitalizing the free reserves. What do we mean by free reserves? They are the free profits which are available for distribution as dividend. Capitalization of free reserves. How do we capitalize them? We just remove them from the reserves and put them in a special account called Capital Redemption Reserve. So we need to follow the provisions of the Companies Act when we redeem preference shares. Since as per the provisions of the Companies Act, preference shares can be redeemed only out of the proceeds of a fresh issue of capital or capitalization of free reserves or creation of a capital redemption reserve. 
we will further discuss this in more detail the other aspect of this is the availability of funds when we are repaying preference shares the company needs to have enough money enough funds enough bank balance to be able to repay the shareholders if they issue fresh shares if they issue fresh equity shares fresh preference shares then money comes in and this money can be used to redeem preference shares they may also issue fresh debentures in order to raise money or they may sell some of their assets they may have investments which they sell in order to raise money so a company may raise money to repay the preference shareholders to redeem preference shares by issuing shares issuing debentures by selling assets usually these are the ways in which money is raised in order to have enough funds to repay preference shareholders so there are two aspects to redemption which we have to be alert about one is the provisions of the companies act where redemption can be carried out either out of the proceeds of a fresh issue or out of capitalization of reserves this is one part of it where which says do not disturb the capital structure the other aspect to the redemption of preference shares is to ensure that there are sufficient funds to repay the preference shareholders if we do not have a sufficient bank balance usually the company will issue equity shares may issue preference shares may issue debentures or may sell investments or other assets in order to raise money to redeem preference shares